All right, so if you're watching this video, it's because your AirPod Maxes are freaking out. Now, I've had a couple issues. Mostly my issue is that they randomly disconnect. They disconnect when I'm listening to music and it's a pain in the ass and I don't know why. And I reset them, I updated the firmware and then they still had issues. Now I've had these AirPod Maxes for a long time. They're kind of scuffed up and used, uh, but they still work. They should work great. Like it's not a battery issue. So I went on Reddit and I found out that there is this issue where the AirPods maxes this piece right here, this earpiece comes off and there's a connector that connects the two of these. And in this little connector, which I'll show you in a second, you can build up gunk. And when there's gunk in there, it prevents the connection. So it pretty much gets dirty. Now it's not super easy to do, but it's not super hard, but yeah. Let me just show you. So let's go over what you're gonna need to fix your AirPod Maxes. A SIM card ejector tool. Now, old iPhones used to come with this, but you need something pointy like this. So you can technically use an earring or a needle, but you want it to be stable so it doesn't snap or break. Next thing you're gonna need is isopropic alcohol. This one's 91%, which is pretty strong, but when you're dealing with electronics, you want something that's gonna clean thoroughly, but not cause a lot of moisture. So this is the one I have. And then I've got some Q-tips right here. You're gonna need that to, uh, Rub down the part, hey, yo. And then I've got some paper towel as well. So yeah, if you have all those things, SIM card tray, SIM card ejector, Q-tips, paper towels, and then your alcohol, then you can start. So first thing you're gonna do is that inside these cups, you're gonna pull them off, they're magnetic, and you're gonna see that there's a little tiny pinhole right there. So that pinhole, that's where you're gonna put the SIM card ejector tool. You're gonna do that on both sides. So I'm gonna try to do this all in one take. So you push the pin in, and then you have to pull this out. Okay, so that wasn't the smoothest, but here you see what I mean. The ear cup is completely disengaged from the headband and um, you'll feel it. There's like a kind of a little bit of a click when you push it in, but then you see this part right here, that's the contact. Now that contact, the first time I did this, it was completely black and you can kind of see like it's even rubbing off on my finger. Like that black gunk that you see right there, just barely, that came off of that connector. And if that connector is too blacked and gunked up just from like being your bag and stuff, it'll disconnect. So that's one side. Now we're gonna do the other side. I'm gonna push the pin in. I felt it and I just pulled it out. That one was way easier. Okay. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna clean these contacts right here. You're gonna clean this thing with isopropyl alcohol. You're gonna put it on the paper towel that we have over there and then just rub it completely dry. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the Q-tip. You have to be careful with this one. You're gonna take the Q-tip and kind of stick it in that hole with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol just to clean out any gum. Now I'm gonna do a dry one and a wet one. And I'm gonna show you what comes out of it. Take the isopropyl alcohol, just spray it. All right, now it's sprayed. I'm gonna fold it, fold it. I'm gonna take this piece and I'm just gonna wipe it down. You wanna make sure you get into the crevice of it. There's like some ridges. As long as this thing is clean, you'll probably have a decent connection. It should solve all your issues. I doubt you'll be able to tell the before and after. I mean, maybe you can tell if it's shiny or not. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. It looks like this side's actually way more dirty. So I'm just gonna use my nail to like get in there. All right, so now I'm gonna do that. This side's clean, now I'm gonna do this side. Pull it out a little bit. If you look at that contact right there, it has like black gunk on the little copper metal piece. And that's essentially what we need to clean off. So make sure it has a clean connection, so. And again, this is like the easy part. Really, it's the easy part. The hard part's putting it back together. Just kind of scrape it off. You wanna be thorough, cause you don't wanna do this twice. First time I did this, I did like a half-ass job and I had to take it apart again. And if you're worried about like which side's the left side and which side's the right side, it really doesn't matter. Honestly, it's reversible. Apple's kind of smart when it came to that. Uh, so I'm gonna look at these contacts and make sure they're clean. I think this one could use a little bit more attention. Okay, so now that these contacts are clean on the actual band, I'm gonna go and move on to the ear cup. So the ear cup right here, I'm just gonna rub this on there to see if there's any gunk that shows up. You can kind of see it's a little dirty. You see there's some dirt that like kind of rubbed off on there. So I'm gonna clean the outsides first, just dry. I'm gonna stick the Q-tip in there. <laughs> Nothing crazy, not on this one anyway. 
And then I'm gonna spray some rubbing alcohol on this one. I'm gonna pull some of this off though. There's like a lot of it. So now it's like a smaller amount, just enough so that it can fit inside. And then we're gonna add a little rubbing alcohol to this as well. Remember, you don't wanna to put too much rubbing alcohol on this cause it is like going into a piece of technology, a circuit. We're gonna put it in there, rub. If you can see it, there's a little bit of dirt that's on that side. So we're gonna take a clean Q-tip and stick it in there. There's like dirt on the rim and all that dirt builds up, whether you go to the gym or you sweat in your AirPods, I mean, that's what's causing it. That's looking pretty good. Now let's move to the next one. Take it. Yeah, all right, so not too bad. So now that you've done that, now that you've cleaned these ports right here, now that you've cleaned these ports and you cleaned your band, you just gotta put it together. And then this is kind of the annoying part because you can't just push this stem into this hole. You have to put the SIM card ejector in there as well. Because if not, it won't fully lock. I don't know if you saw that. I tried to put it in. There's like a, a pin that stops it. So I have to do some acrobatics. We're gonna push this pin in. Okay, I feel the pin in and then you have to lock it. All right, I had to do it off camera, but yeah, that one didn't work either. Okay, so it just snapped and there it goes again, still not in. I'm gonna try laying it down, see what happens. Take the pin, push it in. Okay, now, all right, so putting it on the table is probably the easiest thing you can do. Um, this is just a regular table. You probably want to put it on like this paper towel so you don't scuff it up. So now we're going to try with this and we're going to try to do completely. Don't hold it up in the air like I was. I'm going to leave this struggling in the video just so you guys know it's real. Push it in. There we go. Hopefully the mic caught that, but now that's in. So yeah, left side, right side, reconnected. Uh, you just kind of match up the ear cups on here. Make sure the ear cups are put on correctly. You see how the ear cup has like a hole right there? That hole is important because that hole lines up with this sensor. Don't put them in backwards uh, and then comment on my video saying that it must be your pods. So once that's on there and that's on there, you should be good and you should be able to just put them back in the case, let them sit for a second. So yeah, that should fix all your headphone issues. Um, let's see if mines are connected. Pod Max. I'm gonna play some music. There you go. They're connected. You probably hear music. I don't know why the crown's not working. There you go, crown's working. You can see that. So yeah, now they're completely connected. See it says heavy max right there. That's how you get your Pod Max to work again. Make sure you uh, save this little SIM card ejector in the future you need it. You should stop disconnecting. I hope this video helped you out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me get rid of this garbage. And um, yeah, remember if I win, you win.